Hello and welcome back to Rory Adam Games Plays Order of Battle Blitzkrieg. We are finishing our grand encirclement of Lawa. And this is the first campaign in the <clears throat> sorry, the first scenario in the campaign. Um, and we're gonna speed up gameplay here today so that I can actually get this scenario done. Oh my goodness, what is that? Six I think six episodes just to finish this, assuming I finish today. Okay, so let's go ahead and let the enemy take their turn. See, the Polish response um, at times has been really strong and challenging to beat off, but well, let's go with stop. It's been challenging to stop. Okay, let's see. So, can hit them, keep hitting them. Nice. And then I can take the Stuka, uh, airbase them, refuel them, and uh, start to, and then bring them in here toward the end of the attack on Lawa. Bring the Panzer II up. Okay, I think I'll push this infantry across. Uh, I was toyed with the idea of bringing the P3 around into the south. Uh, however, uh, I think that uh, the heavy infantry is going to need some support. Okay, let's see. Looking good. Uh, I don't think attacking either of these is very prudent. Um, in fact, let's hope they don't hit the P4 too hard and push them back across the river. That suck. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's push. All right, we have officially captured Mlawa. However. I would not be the least bit surprised if I get pushed out of here in their turn. Uh, they've got infantry, two anti-tank, they've got artillery, they've got AA that they can, I'm pretty sure they can turn that into an anti-tank gun. They should be able to. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Pitch down, pitch down. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, so you'll notice they have red dots. They are all completely out of supply. I have surrounded them, taken their supply depot. Um, yeah, they're in a world of pain right now. So let's go ahead and hit Chich now again. All right, so I believe, yes, my primary objectives are achieved and I'm 22 turns in so I had a few extra to spare that's just how I like it uh, I did not achieve 20 ground units killed however uh, but that's all right that's all right let's see if I can pick off a couple more here who's really close these guys mmm they escaped yeah let's leave them in there now I can cross here
I love in this game how you can actually see the artillery rounds flying. <laughs> That's super cool. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Alright, we got him. Well, let's see what it, that gets us. 17. Yeah, we're not quite going to do it, but that's okay. Uh, we have inflicted serious damage on Polish forces, captured Malawa, and we're ready to move on. At a substantial cost, the enemy defenses have finally broken. As the Polish forces retreat south, our troops have continued their advance toward the capital city of Warsaw. Alright, let's go get Warsaw. Ah, uh, but first, we have specialization points. You've gained five new specialization points. Do you want to consult the panel now? We sure do. So what I want to pick up is uh, my priorities here are specialized training and war economy. War econ economy adds uh, command points. Um, so that gives us, you know, more uh, slots for deployment. So basically, we can build a bigger army. Um, and the specialized training is like the tank school, but for our infantry. So now all newly purchased infantry will start with a star if we get this. It also leads to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but it's basically uh, flexible tactics that the, the Germans were known for, giving you know junior level officers and NCOs uh, the ability to uh, you know create their own battle plans and make adjustments as necessary. Uh, that's a great one. You see here, it, deals plus one damage to all ground targets, infantry does. Uh, that's going to be hugely important. We really need to build uh, up our infantry to be the backbone of our forces um, in the lead up to Operation Barbarossa. But I'm getting way ahead of myself at this point. I think for now, uh, I'm more interested in increasing the quality of my army rather than the quantity. And when I say army, I mean the whole armed forces, the whole Wehrmacht. Uh, so I think that I'm going to go with specialized training, pick that up, um, and then save up my points for um, <clears throat> that one. <laughs> um, eventually, I do want war economy. I would love to pick it up before I invade France. Um, we'll see. Okay. Cha-ching. German armored forces have reached the suburbs of the Polish capital. The eventual fall of Warsaw should conclude our campaign against Poland. Okay, so we are ready to go. This is the battle for Warsaw. Uh, let's go ahead and watch, read the briefing here. After the holdup at Mlawa, Army Group North has continued its advance toward Warsaw. To cut the enemy's supply lines, it must now cross the Neru River and reach the eastern part of the Polish capital. Man, it just drives me crazy when there's uh, grammatical errors in these things. Um, man, don't they have someone proof these? In the meantime, the 4th Panzer Division has already reached the suburbs of Warsaw. The Poles have turned the city into a fortress, however, and our assaults have so far been repulsed with significant losses. Ah, you can see the, the burning panza here. Equally concerning, the Polish Poznan and Pomorzy armies have launched a counterattack near Kutno. We may have to divert forces away from Warsaw to deal with this new threat against our flank. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit here. All right, so the there's Kutno. The counterattack's going in here and here. Um, around these positions. It looks like I have them reasonably held. Um, but unfortunately, all these units are going to be AI controlled, I think. So you know they're going to do some silly things and get themselves in trouble. Ultimately, our objective is to destroy the Polish troops in and around Warsaw. With the fall of their capital, the Polish government will be forced to accept an unconditional surrender. I like it. So we've got 30 turns. Let's go ahead and look at our uh, start game, and let's see. Primary objectives, destroy 40 ground units. Whew, that's a lot. Um, what was it? In Laowa, we captured, or destroyed 17. So we need to capture or encircle Warsaw. I always prefer encirclement in order to uh, 
you know, uh, more efficiently marshal my resources. Uh, however, uh, I really kind of let the battle develop naturally. So uh, encirclement's always uh, usually easier, almost always easier. It almost always inflicts less uh, casualties on your forces. Secondary objectives, defeat the Kutno counter, uh, deal 30 damage to aircraft, capture the Maudlin fortress, capture the armored train. Sweet, there's an armored train in this one. Okay, well, let's deploy our forces here. Let's see, we've got... Okay, so we've got infantry. Basically, we have the core force that we purchased in the last round. So we've got the heavies, uh, the engineers, uh, the Panzer III, four, looks like, what is this one? This is, uh, looks like a freebie maybe? I did not buy that. So that'll be a non-core uh, force, a supplementary force. So we will have to add, I'm sure, a another infantry component or two to this attack force. I'm also obliged to put some, a unit somewhere in this attack zone. I know I could put some armored forces here and have them attack and flank the Kutno attack. Or I could put some infantry and trench them like in these woods. Something like that. And then the other option uh, down here, I can deploy forces uh, near the, the southern pincer, which looks like it has what a P3. P2, infantry, and a 221. I don't think I have control of these forces either. Um, so it's nice to leave at least one unit amongst these AI uh, controlled units to kind of, uh, you know, give them some sort of backbone, if you will. Uh, make sure they don't do just stupid things. And if they do, kind of have, have their back. Uh, let's, we'll see, though. I can also tell they're, they're severely understrengthed. Understrength. So, you know, we could be looking at a. These guys getting pushed back uh, because, because they're AI. Uh, I'm not able to reinforce. I think they're AI. We'll find out soon. So, I think the option here, what I'm going to go with is. Man, I have so much to buy. <laughs> I don't even have a fighter. That fighter was supplied. It was a non-core unit given to me in the last one. So, okay, let's build. Let's do the Air Force first. And we're going to put him here. There's the Stuka. Let's go buy a fighter. Uh, I'll take the 109. Purchase and deploy. Okay, oh, up here, so I do have engineers and a P1. Ugh. This has to be my main focus of attack, so I'm going to put my, the most units here. Um, so I'm going to need two units, uh, one either here, or here, and then one here. And then I can deploy the rest in the northern pincer. I think I would rather deploy infantry here. And put panzers in the south and north. I like that. So we'll put... My Panzer IV here, my Panzer III here, so 
we still have 19 slots, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, we're low on requisition points. So let's take the Panzer. I could sell this. What is this unit? Oops. Well, okay. I sold it. Huh. I th was looking for the info panel. I was thinking I would get the info panel and then an option to sell. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's how she goes. Oh, it's very strange. I think I'm just going to be buying that Panzer IV again. <laughs> okay, so I need infantry. Let's get some regulars. Um, transport would be nice, wouldn't it? So let's see, that would be 55 RPs and four slots. So that would leave me with about 250. And plenty of slots left, so I could still deploy these engineers. In fact, let's go ahead and deploy them now. Maybe I stick the engineers down here. Yeah, let's do that. Engineers, a key. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Artillery, maybe? No, I'm going to save artillery for the Sturm Panzer. Blah, 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 blah. I could pick up another Stuka, though. I could also rebuy that Panzer IV. <laughs> I, did, I honestly did not mean to do that. If I did that, I'd have 212 left. So I'd still have enough to get infantry. So I'd get 155. And then how much is a Stuka? 80. So what is that total of, uh, what did I just say? Yeah, two, three, so I'd be able to do it all. Okay. I could pick up another Stuka. I could pick up, I should probably actually pick up two infantry. I'm getting ahead of myself here with the Stuka. Yeah, I could do one of these. Need some engineers up here too to repair bridges. Oh, I have some great. So, wait, those are engineer 39, so I can upgrade these? No, not yet. That's interesting. The AI gets engineers 39, but I am stuck with 1937 edition. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase. Do heavies, huh? Eighty-five and five, so that would knock me down to one seventy. But still have enough. Oh, yeah, one seventy would still have enough to go get that. Re rebuy my Panzer four. Okay, yeah, I like it. Let's do that. Heavy infantry with truck support or truck transport. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay, I'm getting a nice little mixed force here. And we're going to be scary to deal with. Look out, Poles. We're coming for you. Okay, we're going to pick up that. What's my anti tank situation? You know, I, I, it would behoove me to buy an 88 gun at this point. Get it some experience before I go to war in the West with France. Because you know there's going to be fighters and bombers there. So I have 60. I could actually get, but oh, I see. Not quite. So if I get the 88, I've got to get the truck transport, which will be, my total will be 115 and 3. CPs, so that would preclude me from buying the Panzer. 
Um, another option is I get the Panzer now. It's more important for the breakthrough phase. And then uh, purchase an 88 when I get reinforced. Um, assuming, of course, I'm going to get reinforced. Okay, let's do that. That was strange. Uh, Cha-ching. So look at this. I've got truck transport infantry. These are basically my grenadiers now. Uh, early <laughs> war Panzer grenadiers. Uh, they've got transportation. They've got a star of experience. Look at that. And they're all part of my core force. So right here, um, looking real good. Would, again, love to have some artillery. Or at least I've got the Stuka. I'm going to hold off for that Stern Panzer. Got a little bit of command or RP points here. RPs to reinforce. Um, but uh, it's tempting to put a Panzer down there, isn't it? So close to Warsaw. But hopefully these AI Panzers just don't do stupid stuff and I'm able to capture all the cities down there and begin the envelopment. The investment of Warsaw. All right, so we're going to end deployment. Let's see what they do. All right, the Kutno counterattack is going in. Hmm, cavalry into fortified infantry. Good luck with that. Okay, so glad I put infantry down here. Um, able to actually be a part of the ASC. Yeah, these are all AI. I can't control these. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. But I can't control these. That's awesome. So I do have a southern pincer. Uh, which is, you know, critical <clears throat> to be able to control both sides of my envelopment. Uh, what did I put down here? Engineers, right. So I can begin the southern attack here. I've got significant forces, um, certainly sufficient forces. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is kind of seal off Warsaw and then send these guys to capture these strategic cities here and kind of um, go on the defensive until I can swing guess swing this uh, this uh, this wing down south capture these points here uh, pull tusk and whew, that one and then cross maybe at two different points depending on what uh, the the road situation traffic situations like and of course you know I'm guessing there's gonna be defenses on these side cross here and then hit Warsaw uh, from this side at that point, I should have it pretty well encircled, hopefully at a reasonable cost. All right, so that will be next time. Um, and again, I'm going to speed up my gameplay here so that we can uh, capture Warsaw and get through this scenario and be on to bigger and better things in the West. Norway, Belgium, France. Exciting stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm doing something wrong. Let me know in the comments how I can do it better. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.